Whether you're a first time cruiser or you haven't cruised in a few years, one of the worst things that can happen is not being prepared for some of the extra costs and fees that are not included on a cruise. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the hidden costs of cruising that you need to know before you go. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now on this channel, we talk a lot about the great value of cruises, but there are some things that people do need to be aware of, namely some of the things that might incur an extra cost before and even during your cruise. Now you might be aware of some of these and others are going to come as a complete surprise, especially since there have been some changes in recent years. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, taxes and port fees. Now, I think a lot of people, if you've cruised already, or if you've already started to look at cruises, then you will know that the advertised price that you usually see does not include the taxes and the port fees. And in particular, when it comes to those port fees, depending where your cruise is sailing to, what itinerary you have, that can actually make a really big difference and that can increase the total cost of your cruise. Number two, flights. And for budget purposes, you do need to know that this is an extra cost on a cruise. Number three, parking. So if you are driving to your cruise embarkation port rather than flying, something to budget for, is the parking cost that you are going to incur if you do park on site. Now, keeping on with our budget, don't forget to include the cost of a taxi or an Uber or a transfer to get to and from the cruise port. Okay, moving on to something that is going to likely cost you extra on a cruise that might surprise you, and it is the cost of internet or cruise ship Wi-Fi. Now, cruise ship Wi-Fi has gotten less expensive than it was in the past, but it is not free the way it is usually at hotels. So you can expect that you are going to need to buy a Wi-Fi package if you do plan on using the internet. Now, there are a couple of cruise lines that are exceptions, namely luxury cruise lines and Virgin, but otherwise, if you are cruising with any of the mainstream cruise lines, this is something to expect. Now, speaking of Wi-Fi packages, there are other packages that you may want to purchase on a cruise, and this is going to cost you extra. So namely, this is a drink package or a specialty dining package. Now, when it comes to drinks on a cruise, there are some drinks that are included. However, others are going to have an extra cost associated with them, namely alcoholic drinks, specialty coffee and tea, bottled water, fresh juices, and soda or pop. Crew gratuities or service charges or crew appreciation fees. Now, when you do go on a cruise, the cruise line is going to automatically add an additional 16 to $20 per person per day. That is going to be the automatic daily gratuities. Now, while on some cruise lines, you can actually remove this cost or adjust it up or down, it is customary to keep that because that is part of the payment that goes to the crew. Now, beyond the crew gratuities, there are also some additional service fees or gratuity charges that you should be aware of. Namely, when you do purchase a drink, if you don't have a drink package, then you will be charged a service fee. Typically, it's 18 to 20% on every drink or coffee that you order. Now as well, when you go to the spa and you have any spa services, you're also going to be charged that service charge or tip. A corkage fee when you bring a bottle of wine. Now many cruise lines will allow passengers to bring one bottle of wine per adult per cabin, and that's a good way to save money on drinks if you're not a heavy drinker, especially, and you don't have the drink package. However, something that you should know is if you do bring your bottle of wine to the main dining room or one of the restaurants, that when it is opened, even if you open it, by the way, you will be charged a corkage fee. Now, I do have a little tip, and this is kind of a money-saving tip, but if you are only drinking one glass of wine, let's say with your dinner, you could simply get a glass, bring it to your cabin, fill it up, and nobody would know the difference. Room service. Now, if you are used to land vacations or even some resorts, then room service usually does have 
an additional charge. However, if you're used to cruising several years ago, something that you should know is many cruise lines do now charge for room service or at least charge a delivery fee. Now, there are some exceptions to that even on mainstream cruise lines, but it is something to be aware of. Now, just to let you know, many cruise lines, even if they do charge for room service, do often have a continental breakfast menu where you can order some non-freshly cooked items. It is still good and that is still something that you can do. Extra tips. Now, I know a lot of people wonder who else do I have to tip on a cruise? Now, you never have to tip, but what is customary is to give a few dollars to the porter that will take your bags when you do get to the cruise terminal upon embarkation. It's customary to give anywhere from two to five dollars per bag, as well as the tour guides when you do go on excursions in some of the different ports of call. Extra charges in the main dining room. Now in the main dining room or any of those included restaurants on a cruise, the food is mainly included. However, cruise lines in recent years have added to the menu one, two, or even three items that do have an extra charge. Now, oftentimes these are items that might normally be available only in the specialty restaurant and you do have the option to order them. Now it's definitely not obligatory, but it is something to note if you do see that something has a charge next to it, it will be charged to your account. Now, by the way, if you're planning a cruise and you are trying to keep organized, I do have the LifeWall Cruised Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the LifeWall Cruised Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47-page downloadable printable cruise planner that you could use to keep organized from the time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation. And now it includes cruise packing lists, cruise embarkation forms, cruise outfit planning forms, shore excursion planning forms, and more. If you do want to see what is included in the LifeWall Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner, I'm going to leave all of the information linked down in the description of this video in case you do want to check it out. Spa access. So not only is there an extra charge to think about if you do get a spa treatment like a massage, but as well, if you want spa access to go to the thermal spa, there is an extra charge for that as well. Now, by the way, just in case you're saying, oh my goodness, there are so many extra charges on cruises, what is included? I will leave a video right after this one where I go into everything that is included on a cruise. Onboard attraction costs. Now, only on some cruise lines and on some specific cruise ships, there are some pretty popular activities that do have an extra charge. So, so namely, this includes the roller coaster on Carnival cruise ships. This includes the racetracks on Norwegian cruise ships, and this includes the North Star on Royal Caribbean. Now, before you do go on your cruise, it's a good idea to research the specific cruise ship just to know what kind of cost you can expect so you can budget for it. Now, speaking of budgeting, in particular, if you have kids or teenagers, there is usually an arcade on cruise ships and this of course is not included and this can incur an extra cost. Now, by the way, if you have kids or teens and you are cruising on a budget, don't feel like you have to do everything that is on a cruise, but get them involved with choosing what they do want to spend on or even saving some money up from birthdays or Christmas before the cruise. The casino. Now this goes without saying, but of course the casino, if you do go, is going to have an extra cost. The gym fitness classes. Now at the gym, that is included and some fitness classes might be included on your cruise ship, but there are some fitness classes that are not included and are going to have an extra cost. Now, depending on the cruise line that you are cruising with, you may have a package that actually includes fitness classes or you might be sailing on Virgin, which does include group classes. Some popular passenger activities, so namely bingo and deal or no deal. After hours, childcare. One of the good things about cruises is it does actually include a phenomenal kids club. Your kids are likely going to be very happy there. But if you do have kids and you want to stay out late, there is a group babysitting charge for that. Shore excursions and in port activities. Now, one of the things a lot of people just don't think about when they book their cruise is the fact that they are going to want to save a little bit of money to do some of the great activities in the ports of call. And don't forget to think about what you are going to eat and drink when you're in your cruise port of call as well. Travel insurance. Now, even though travel insurance is recommended, it is not included with your cruise. Now you can buy cruise line specific insurance through your cruise line, or you can talk with your travel agent and you can book third party travel insurance through them or through another travel insurance provider. 
adult only exclusive areas. Now, typically these areas are also not only adult only, but they are quieter. So sometimes they are money that is well worth spending. Now, a couple of cruise lines that do have this include Norwegian Cruise Line that has the Vibe Beach Club and Princess Cruises that has the Sanctuary. Now, I probably should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but don't forget to plan for a pre or a post cruise hotel. Now coming back onto the cruise ships, something that a lot of people do spend a little bit of extra on are the professional photographs, especially if this is your first cruise or if you're doing a family cruise, this is a great way to get some of those family photos. Laundry services, and now a lot of people are trying to pack lighter these days and that does sometimes mean spending a little bit of money on laundry services. So you make up your own mind on this, but there are laundry services available on cruise ships that can include a laundry bag special or sometimes self-serve laundrettes that you can use. Cruise accessories. Now two really popular cruise accessories that are not included on a cruise are lanyards. So in particular, if you do have a cruise where you are going to have your cruise card, that is going to be most of them. A lot of people do like to have a way to carry that with them. That can include a lanyard or that can include a phone card holder. I'll include links, by the way, to those down in the description below this video. And the other thing is if you're on a princess cruise, then while you will get a lanyard, if you do want to wear your medallion on your wrist instead, there is an extra charge on board. You can buy different accessories, either bracelets or necklaces right there or online on their website. Now I am gonna leave all of the information about the LifeWall Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check it out. And I'll also leave the video all about what is included on a cruise in detail right after this one. But I would love to hear from you. What are some of the things that are additional on a cruise maybe that you have a question about or maybe that I have not mentioned yet please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.